Okay, welcome back to my channel. This is second try to record this video. Uh, so, few words. I will show the project idea, and after that, I will show uh, what we have to do. And third part will be some improvement. Here, I will show that we have some meeting so everybody who wants to join to write some javascript code and to practice is welcomed we are using javascript react for front end node.js with express for back end scss for some devops we are i deployed everything in azure microsoft azure and so with the helps with github actions so this is for the project let me if I show you the website, so in the home page, I just want uh, to show some nice photo, some small text for the application. Here we will have about page where we will add more information. And here I want to show for most viewed or most uh, closed, closest uh, homes to the guy who is opening this page okay so i am logged in i will log out just to show you some functionality here we have um, all homes which can be bought so here you can see you can browse and see the information so we will sign in as seller so we can sell a home you can see you can upload a photo you can submit same for lens here and here for lens you can see lens and sell lens rent is Still under construction, we will see what exactly and how to handle this because we have to make the functionality in the backend. News, so here we are displaying few news related to real estate. Here in profile, you can change your information. And where you are signing, you for example, you can start chat with this guy with the owner. You can request meeting. So for example, I want to see him next month. Here we will add uh, time, not just date. So this will be the future improvement. Okay, submit. Some error maybe, yeah, let me see. No, not error. Everything is okay. Here you can see your meetings. Okay, here we have pending meeting. Here we have the chat. Here we can see all people with who we have some chat. You can see this is some old message. Okay, I want to buy. <laughs> and overall is that. Let me show you and the admin panel. Admin panel. I will log in as admin. Here you can see, you can add, you can delete or edit information about some. Yeah, but we have some error again. Okay, we have to check that and delete. Okay. 
I can delete, but yeah. Oh, I didn't uh, complete it, this. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so manage homes. You can delete some home. You can delete land and you can create admins. So only admins can create admins. So most of the things is that. So my second uh, part of this video. What we have to do. So first as I mentioned we have to make about page. We have to finish form validations. But I will deep dive in validations in our, my next part of this video where I will show some improvement. So better contributing, we have to write some nice contributing file for everybody who wants to contribute. Uh, here we have to combine user profiles. Let me check. So some guy will do that. So here in profile, we will have ability to change email and uh, password. Okay. So create visitation button. Let me check the progress. Last week, so still no progress. So what is visitation? I will just say what visitation is. Visitation, for example, I am the owner of some of these houses. I am the seller. So I want, for example, every Saturday between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. to have open to open this house for visitations for everybody who have interest because I maybe I will do not have time for everybody to make separate uh, meeting to invite uh, how to say people on separate meetings. So I want everybody to come to see and go at five. So that's the idea about visitation. So here we will display the visitation. So, so the user who is the seller, who is the owner, will have functionality to create visitation and everybody who is walked in will see and will be able to see this information. Okay, so let me continue. Map. So here is the same. So if this home have, let me check here in the. Uh, okay, so this home have longitude and latitude. So based on this variables, we can. I want to show some map. Never mind Google Map or some open map for op open source map and to show mark where exactly this home is and maybe there we will think for future improvements. Okay. Uh, add photo to create home. I already made this so I will close it. So two for validations. I will dive deep in my next uh, part of this video, the chat, yeah, I have some bug. I want to make Docker support, so I want to make Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster prettier for PR. Here I invite some DevOps engineer, internal junior to make some changes. Uh, header style challenge. So here I want the header to be how to stay in with better style. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have some challenge for that. Uh, we have some pipeline error which we have to be fixed. Uh, here we have some suggestion suggestion from 
this guy I can't uh, let me see his name Ad of success okay okay so he suggests some changes I know that we have to make better view I agree with that so as I mentioned uh, you have the code in your hands at all times so everybody is also welcome if you have some good idea some good skills and you can change the style of this application you are welcomed the functionality remains the same so if you have some designer skills you are welcome to show them in this project um, some material UI okay we can make that in future too and we will make some meeting maybe this or next Saturday okay so what else what else I want to have in this uh, application for now I think uh, it's enough so maybe in the video became no it's not too big 10 minutes okay so what else we can make uh, something for admin for sellers uh, yeah maybe we can add here the views how much times this uh, is viewed uh, we can Uh, yes, I want to how to say to upload more than one photo for the homes and for the lens, for example, to have maximum ten photos or something like this. But this will be in future when we polish a little bit the other functionalities. Here I saw some bug. Let me see. Not here. Here let me see what kind of bug we have here so okay i'm not the owner but i can edit this you can see and if i'm not locked in let me sign out here is a bug you can see and i am sure that yeah the back end is broken so i will raise the bug here if the user is a bug to edit length bug when the user is not sign it in he is able to edit Land and wall side in user is able to edit lands which do not belong to him. Okay. <sighs> Book first show react. Okay. what else so this is for now so let me go to improvement so as I mentioned here I have to pull requests for validations let me take a look so if I go to the code I have a special video you I will add the link maybe to it so first of all you can see how many if statements we have here and here and here and here <laughs> and uh, let me check something okay and here we have the same so much use cases which are similar here we have uh, 
some ternary operations which are similar to if statements here we are making a dumb component to functional component which here he is functional component but it's not already a dumb component because we are giving states blah 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 some logic so I want this comment to stay as dump and here again we have some ternary operations, some object keys including some for loops again so really really complicated logic and I have some implemented solution let me start this I have some implemented so when I sign up you can see you can see so I made this validation and here is the code behind it So guys, please take a look at my code and I will not explain it. I had a special video for that. I will. Uh, you can find it actually. If you are a good uh, developer, you have to find it. Yeah, you can find it in my history. So you will find it. So here is my code. Here is my, oh, let me see. Mm, that's not mine. Validation and validations. We have to. This file I don't know why is here. We have to delete this. So here is my code. You can see. <laughs> okay. Oh, one more thing which I don't like. So here we have com components folder we are open it and here we have user and under user we have component and enums and here we have enums too and let me see what kind of enums we have it's a list of enums enums are not lists enums are objects so that's not super correct here we have components again Mm. Yeah, the code, I can't comment the code, I don't uh, deep dive in it, but the structure is not so nice. So here we have routes, we are exporting routes, this is uh, completely wrong. You can see this, yes, of course, in many projects, but that's not a good idea. Because you have to... If you want to extend here something, you have first to import it, to export it, and to import it here too. Let me show you. Okay. Add me routes. Okay. Here, okay, they are structured as object. But still, I don't like this because it's the same. It uh, doesn't make uh, any sense to have separate file. For that is the app. Maybe we will have 10,000 uh, pages. Then maybe have some reason to separate them. But if we have even 100, it's not a big deal. Okay, so because you have many, many files. I hope you got my point. If not, I will explain it more in details in my next video. Okay, so what else we can improve? Let me check. In the code, no. For now, that is, yeah, maybe, yeah, 
let me check something. Yes, the validations we will uh, here we have also work for improving and uh, for now this is and of course the style so if somebody wants to improve the style he is welcomed and that's all for me for now okay thank you for the attention